y'all. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Charmaine, a.k.a. So Effortlessly Sexy, a.k.a. She always got something to say. Do. <laughs> and zoo. Period. Anyway, y'all. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time, welcome to my channel. Stick around, hang around, hit that subscribe button, honey. Hit that like button, honey. And go ahead and comment down below. Period. Anyway, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. I just finished making up my bed, changing my sheets out, um, comforter, and making up my bed, y'all. I'm so annoyed because I don't know where the rest of my sheet sets went. Like, of course, I have sheets in there, but they're just like random sheet pieces. Like, it's not a set anymore. I don't know where it went. Apparently, nobody else does either. So I'm down to like two or three actual sheet sets like that are actual sets. I'm annoyed as fuck. But anyway, um, so I just finished making up my bed, you guys. It's about 20 minutes after 11 in the morning, so it's fairly early. I've been up since a little after nine, got up. I was just going to lay around and lay here for a little while in the bed and just, you know, be a bum to the latter part of the day. But I was like, girl, get up, get up, get up, get up. Threw myself in the shower, like I said, switched out my sheets and stuff, got my laundry together so everything could be washed, and um, I was watching a Netflix series called Champion. I love that show. It's a new series on Netflix. It's not new, new. It's probably been out for like probably about a month now, but in any case, it's still a really good show. It's about a UK rapper who came out of jail and um, his sister, his younger sister was his assistant or whatever. So he came back, you know, found his way back on the scene doing his thing. But his sister, you know, also was talented and she always wanted to be a singer. So, of course, she saw her opportunity to do so eventually with people getting in her ear. Like she didn't just ride her brother coattail or nothing like that. But and then chaos ensued between his family, meaning his parents, his sister his baby mama, the music execs, like, it's a really good show, y'all, so check that out on Netflix, again, it's called Champion, or whatever, and you know I love me a good UK show, honey, because after Top Boy, after the very first season of Top Boy, and before that, Summer House, I was hooked on the UK series, love them down, okay, and the rapping in the show is, and the rapping in the songs, like, that the girls be singing in the show, it's not a musical, but I'm just saying, some of the tracks that they had in there, fire, period. And I'm going to just go ahead and say it, honey. The UK rappers give American rappers a run for their money, honey. The UK rappers be rapping down, okay? In my opinion, they're better than the current American rappers we have, period. But anyway, I don't know where the day is going to take me today. Um, it is going to, or supposed to be... 60 degrees this morning, um, today, so that's exciting. 60 degrees here in the Northeast in January, I'll take it. Um, no sun is out at the moment, though. It's been raining and gloomy for the past couple days. Um, but, uh, either way, it's going to be a beautiful day because God woke us up this morning, and I am grateful for that. So, we're going to make the day do what it do. Um, so yeah, y'all. I'm just, oh yeah, I wanted to show y'all. Y'all see my new, my new, but it ain't new. But this is actually new to me because this is the very first time I'm wearing this unit. I done cut the lace off on the front. I don't know why I got this band down because I ain't laid the lace at all. I'm used to glue this way, y'all. I don't do the actual glue because I love my edges and my, my, my um parameters around my fucking forehead. <laughs> like, I love the healthiness of it all okay so i don't be gluing down my wigs like that and if i do i use got to be glue sp uh, gel and then a little bit of the spray for like the, the the corners here but putting that actual wig glue i don't do that mm -mm. and besides i like to take my wigs on and off at the end of my day i don't sleep in them i should have just uncomfortable to me makes my head itch at night it would be a very uncomfortable night if i slept in my wigs i did do that in the past but and even still that would last for like a day or some shit because i can't <laughs> so i'll be taking my wigs off so it's always glueless wigs for me but if they're not glueless like this one this one is not a glueless wig um this wig is actually from Amazon, y'all. I bought this mad long ago. I'm talking about probably like 2021. 
and I'm literally just now taking it out the pack and putting it on today. I wasn't even sure whether I'm, I actually am going to wear this unit today. I was just, you know, putting it on for the time being while I was doing what I was doing around the house, but, um, well, around my room. But I'm loving it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think this is going to go outside with me today. <laughs> so, I'll probably just run a um, flat iron through it. Maybe not because it's straight enough, y'all. I don't think it's straight. It's a little wavy. But I like the original body of wigs. Like, some wigs, I don't like to, like, mess with the body of it. The body weave or whatever got. But this one, I might. Because this is a straight wig. It's not a body weave wig. It was meant to be a straight wig. So, I'll probably just run a flat iron through it one or two times. And, um... You know, you know, blend the lace a little bit better because I did cut the lace off, but I didn't do nothing else. I didn't put no powder on it on the inside of the lace. I didn't do none of that. So, if I'm gonna wear this wig out today, that's what I'll do. A little quick one too, y'all, because I am not no wig kind of sore girl. I ain't no wig, and even though people in my family swear out like I got like two, three hundred wigs, and I probably do got. <laughs> probably do got a lot a lot i know probably i do have a lot a lot a lot of wigs y'all but you know i always be going back to my old faithfuls like i don't know so but i'm not a wig girl like that meaning like when i do get my wigs i don't style them or anything like that either i bought them already styled or you know I just pop them on and like I said do a quick little one too if I have to most of the time I don't because most of my wigs be styled I like body wave wigs I like wet and wavy wigs or just wavy wigs you know like beach hair wigs once in a while I like my straight you know something with a little bounce to it I like those type of wigs but again I usually just order them already done so because I know I'm not that girl like I just don't I just don't be having the patience to sit in front of a mirror and curl and pin and glue. And that's just not me. I like to pop on and go. But, of course, still make sure the wig look cute. Even though I know y'all see me on this camera with some crazy looking wigs sometimes. But that's just literally my throw on wig to run outside the house or whatever. That's why I always say that bonnet shit there's no excuse and if your hair is already done under the bonnet cool then you don't need the bonnet outside your house if your hair is done take your bonnet off and go outside and show everybody how cute your hair looks okay and if you want to lay around the house when you come back put your bonnet back on but you should not leave in my opinion and I my opinion okay you don't go outside with no bottoms and scarves and shit wrapped around your head. Not as a grown-ass woman. You got that, leave that for the young little girls who still finding their way and shit. Ain't thinking that shit is cute. As a grown adult, we should, us women shouldn't be outside our homes with pajama wear on our heads or our bodies. Period. It's just not. It's just tacky to me. It's tasteless. It's classless. Um, again, they make a billion and one wigs that you can just throw on and run to the store. If your hair isn't done, there are baseball caps, there's beanies, there's a lot of different things that you can throw on your head if your hair is not done to your likings or if your hair is done, there's a lot of different things that you could put on your head and still look presentable and look like you washed your ass when you walk out the house. Anyway, y'all, I also wanted to show y'all what I got the other day for my actual natural hair because my natural hair has been shedding a lot lately, y'all, but I, it's all because of my low iron levels. Like, I am anemic per my doctor. This is not me diagnosing myself. Per my doctor, I am severely anemic, so my iron levels are super duper low. I did take iron supplements in the past. I stopped taking them because I don't know why. Again, I just don't fucking know. <laughs> so... But I'm noticing now how dry and brittle my nails are, my natural nails, and my natural hair is getting so dry, y'all. And I do, I always had dry scalp, period. Like, not flaky dry, but dry scalp. Like, when you put some 
grease or something like that in my hair, that shit absorb it immediately. So I have to constantly keep my hair moisturized all the time, which I fail to do, which is also part of the reason why my hair is probably shedding the way it is, along with the fact that my iron levels are super duper low. So anyway, I ordered some crest, so crested pollo, pollo, excuse me, crested pollo for my um hair. This is a conditioner, Dominican um hair product for a hair con why I can't talk y'all it's a Dominican hair product okay um this is a product that is largely used in the Dominican community it's a hair conditioner I, they do have other products for crested pale they have the you know the, the hair lotion the moisturizer you know just stuff but this is the actual one of their holy grills that they swear by and been using since the beginning of fucking time to get your hair nice back healthy shiny and get that nice thick healthy hair again so i got that from amazon this little bottle was about seven dollars um let's see how many ounces it is damn i can't even see i think this says it's the 13 ounce bottle so i got that from amazon of course you go to your local hair store and get a bigger tub of it for seven dollars but you know i ain't do that i'm an online girl so when i go back to brooklyn i'm gonna stock up on some shit though i'm gonna go to the hair stores in brooklyn you know at home and get the shit that i need but that's it that and my blue magic honey my hair gonna be first of all my hair is still thick it's just i notice it's shedding like when i brush it down or comb it down I do lose a lot of hair, a lot more hair than just the average, you know, strands of hair that you see in your comb. Like, I'm like, I, and it's every time I comb my hair now. So, I'm like, hold up. And then I notice my hair is like really, really dull to where the point where when I comb it, it's like fucking staticky. <laughs> like, I'm like, uh uh. But, um, I know, and then I know it's my iron because my nails too. My nails are very, um, weak and brittle. So, it's my iron level. So, I'm, um, I ordered some more iron supplements. It's supposed to be due here next Wednesday. Amazon, yeah. Let me tell y'all about Amazon because the other night, I want to say it was Thursday night, I was on there ordering some shit. So it was today, Friday. So then it was Wednesday night. I'm like, I was on there ordering some shit, y'all. And I'm just a talking away, honey. <laughs> because I ain't got nothing else to do right now. But anyway, I was on there ordering some stuff. And before I did this order, I noticed previous orders after the holidays. Now, I get when the holidays is around, sometimes the shit get a little delayed. You know, the, the, the delivery time frame is a little bit um, later because of the holidays. Okay, boom. But I've been noticing, like, since November, okay, we're going we're gonna to excuse December because of Christmas. And then now we're in January. That anything, like, they don't offer Prime no more. They don't offer the two-day Prime. They offer Prime. They don't offer the two-day shipping with your prime. And if you didn't notice it, you still paying, well, I was still paying $15 a month for two-day shipping. But now, all of a sudden, my ship, my shipping dates are five days after the date that I ordered. Again, I let the shit slide in December because it was Christmas. And I'm thinking it's Christmas situation. It's because of the holidays. No, it's not. They don't do that no more. They tell you what they do. They still tell you you get two-day shipping with prime, but you're... If you noticed, your shipping dates are five days later. They do not give you a two-day time frame anymore. Not or not nothing I ordered and shit that I be ordering. And, that, and now they got an excuse. So anyway, long story short, I canceled my um my Amazon subscription. Yes, I have a Fire Stick with Prime on it. I know if you don't have, if you don't pay for the Prime on your Amazon, you kind of don't get the see. You get them, but you gotta pay separately for them if you want to watch them not a problem because i don't watch prom videos like that prom movies like that or series i do and if i and when i do i'll just watch it on my bt for free i don't i'm not i'm not pressed about no prom movies and shit at all that's not going to keep me paying 15 dollars a month for a two-day shipping service that i'm no longer receiving okay and so i knew i wasn't bugging i was like let me go on google and see if everybody anybody else you know, picked up on it. Hell yeah. Mad people was picked up on that shit. Mad people canceled a $15 subscription. 
and people was calling for their one month refund for the month before that they didn't get their shit until five days later. And they was like, and they got to even had a number, child, for you to call to get your little one month refund. I didn't take it that far, but I did notice that when I did order, they want to charge a shipping fee of $7 now. <laughs> because And then or say, hey, but you can save the $7 if you sign back up with Prime for two day shipping. No, you're not going to get me. You're not going to get me because I'm not getting my two-day shipping. I haven't been for a while now. And like I said, my um items have been coming five days later. And you still can avoid that shipping fee with orders $35 and over. Or if it's less than $35, y'all scroll all the way down to the bottom before you hit checkout. Scroll all the way down to that bottom and then see the date that it's offering you for free delivery. Now, mind you, the free delivery, for instance, was Wednesday, but y'all was offering me Tuesday for my shit to come on Tuesday anyway for $7. Why would I pay $7 and, and instead of just waiting the extra fucking day and get it for free shipping? Amazon, you play, but not with my money. All right, y'all, I'm finally back from the store. Um, I've been back for a minute. I've just been on the phone running my mouth with my granny and my auntie so yeah anyway i'm gonna show y'all real quick what i got from walmart finally got me some more or some flowers from my new vase i don't know y'all remember this vase in another vlog i don't know but anyway i probably i don't know <laughs> anyway i got this vase so i finally got some flowers i went into went to get some red roses but their red roses in, in walmart at least was trash y'all it was trash so because I'm not really ready for spring, spring flowers yet. Like, I wanted roses. And I wasn't about to be rolling around to all these different stores trying to find roses. So, I got these. These are pretty. And I like them. But I just, they're not, it doesn't give winter to me. Like, I wanted roses. Anyway. Not that roses give winter. But I don't know. These roses, red roses just, I feel like, it's what I wanted. Like, that's just it. So, I got these. So I'm gonna put them in here. I gotta cut them, of course. The water in there, do all of that. Yeah, I'm gonna get a um a overhead light to put right here. I don't know why my background is kind of blurry. Like I don't recall putting that setting on there. Hold up. There we go. So yeah, um. I'm going to get an overhead light to put up here so when my flowers and stuff, you know, are in the vase, they can illuminate. I was going to put a picture here. I still don't know what I'm going to put here. Like, I might just leave it bare with the overhead light and just, like, to continue to, like, dress it with flowers. We'll see how that goes. Once the overhead light comes, I'll um put it up and see if just the light and the flowers will make me happy if not then i'm gonna find a little picture of something oops find a little picture of something put up there i decided that this is not gonna stay here this new perfume tray that i got um a few weeks back from t from tj maxx i think it was i bought it because my one over here is stocked <laughs> so but then i thought about it. i'm like it doesn't make sense to have two separate ones like that doesn't make sense i'm just gonna get a two or three tiered one that I have coming from Amazon when I order it. it ain't coming yet, y'all, but I still am. It's still in my cart because I'm indecisive. I don't, I got about four of them in my cart. I don't know which one I really want yet, but anyway, whatever one it is, is going to be a tiered one. So that way it could just, you know, be stacked up in one section instead of having two separate ones because I really don't want this dress um, top crowded up with nothing. I really, really don't. I just want to try and keep it as minimal as possible. Got some flowers. Get my jewelry, uh, my perfume over there. Perfume may actually stay over here. Nah, I'm going to put my perfume over here on this dresser. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking about now. And I'm going to got some. I don't have them yet, but I want to put some books over there on my console table that I saw at one of the department stores. I didn't bring it home yet because I was like, you know what? I got to figure this out. I got to figure out where I want it to be because, again, I don't want everything crowded on these tables and all these dresser tops. Anyway, and y'all know I got this, my jewelry um, holder and necklace holder, so 
The mask going to stay where it is for now. <laughs> what else? I got this from Walmart too, y'all. I ain't going in to get this. I also got some um Olipops because I'm trying to pick my soda, Coca-Cola habit, y'all. I'm trying real hard. And besides, who doesn't need gut health? Okay, so I got some uh, those are Olipops. I got the grape flavor. And then yesterday I was in Walmart too. They didn't have the grape. They restocked now, but they didn't have the grape. But they did have my fave, which is the strawberry and vanilla. They had that. So I bought a case of that. And I just bought two cans of the grape today because I don't know if I'm going to like that or, like, or not. I only like artificially, artificial tasting stuff with color to it, like grape. <laughs> so... I don't know how this is going to taste, but I'm going to see. I'm going to try one out maybe tonight. I don't know. I ain't ready because I still got like two cans or three cans of Coke left that I'm going to finish over the weekend. And when I finish those, I'm not going to buy any more. I'm going to just try to suck on the, um. I mean, I'm going to try to drink on my um, Olipops. Anyway, y'all, because I'll be getting long-winded and y'all don't be saying nothing. Like, y'all don't be like, girl, get on with it anyway. I want this. For Walmart, this is just a little house dress or a little throw on to go to the store, you know, when the weather breaks, get a little nice outside, a little ear. I mean, a little warm ear. This is so cute. And it was only $13. $12.98. This is so cute, y'all. I love stuff like this. I love stuff like this to just throw on. It even got a little pattern in it. Okay, now. It got little pads in the breast part. Which I'm going to take out because I don't need those. But, um, <laughs> I got a size medium. This is, they mediums are weird with the numbers. What's a 7 to a 9? Like, girl, a, a 7 to 9? That's not a medium. Like, anyway, it's a medium, y'all. 7 to a 9. <laughs> but, yeah, look, it's so cute. This is so cute. Definitely going to be wearing this around the house and or outside when the weather breaks. Sure am. And then I just got my nephew a pair of pajamas for his little birthday. Because, like I said, for Christmas, these kids got everything known to man. They do not need a single thing. Okay, clothes, pajamas, slippers, f toys. For sure don't need no goddamn toys. So, but I bought him some, let me show you. I bought him some little cute, um... PlayStation pajamas because I he be playing a PlayStation child. He about to be five tomorrow. So he be on that game. So I thought these was cute. Just for him to run around the house then. Got the little PlayStation uh sign there and little controllers all over. And it just come with the pants. These were also $13. Yo, Walmart went up, child. Y'all see that? They went up. Because this little outfit right here used to be about $8. If that, five, to be honest. This shit used to be about $5. I used to go on Walmart and get you some pajama sets for $5. And that was just literally like two years ago. Like, now it's $13 for a kid's pajama set. You see, I paid $13 for a whole dress. Why Why y'all pajama sets for kids $13 too, at Walmart? Like, y'all better get it together. But anyway... That's all I got from Walmart, like I said. And then I got the Olipop drinks. So, I'm going to just get ready to set up my my um flower pot here. And I'll be back.
like them. I like them. I mean, I like them. Like I said, I still prefer my roses, but whatever. I like the Chinese restaurant just text my phone talking about some burr. It's cold outside. Come in and get one of our hot, cozy meals. Like, if y'all don't get off my phone. Because first of all, what's hot and cozy at the Chinese restaurant? Besides, they like wonton soup and chicken noodle soup. And I don't eat neither one of them. So, I mean, I eat chicken noodle soup, but not from Chinese restaurant. Um, mm -mm. But I am mad hungry, y'all. Like, I'm dead hungry. I don't know what I want to eat. But I definitely know it's not hot walk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> it's Saturday. <laughs> it's Saturday, y'all. And a TikTok shop has got me again, y'all. Like, I told y'all I'm over this fucking double neck slash chin situation and I'm dead ass. So yeah, TikTok got me again, honey. I don't been on that TikTok shop. I don't know. I'm ordering shh. Y'all like, why did I even get on TikTok? Like, I do not belong on TikTok ordering and buying shh. Okay? Like, I just don't. But anyway... This is the um <clears throat> chin thing, y'all. Supposed to wear 15 minutes a day, three times a um, 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes, three times a day. So this is me. I'm about to take it off because I had it on for now for about 15 minutes, but I got this. I got the other thing. Let me show y'all. The other um It's so grainy. I got this. This is the other chin shaper. I mean, jawline shaper. I'm not playing because this summer I'm not walking around with no fat ass um double chin on my face. I'm not doing it. Like I don't care what what what. Period. <clears throat> but anyway, y'all, I just got off the shower per usual. I feel like every time I open y'all up, I'm just getting out the shower. But I just got off the shower. I have my kombucha, um, so, I don't know, as always, what's happening today for me, I might just be in the house all day with it, y'all, I might go outside, I don't have anything specific to go outside for, my nephew's birthday is today, but I don't know if they're doing anything with him today, like taking him somewhere, so I'm gonna find that out, if not, then I'm gonna go over there, see him, drop off his little gift, and just, um, you know, go with the flow for the rest of the day, like always. But yeah, y'all. Right now, I'm watching um this um prime show called Expats with Nicole Kidman. Anything with Nicole Kidman in it, honey, baby girl, I'm on it. Okay, cause sis is one of my favorite actresses. Period. She eats them since back in the day. Anyway, so. Anything I know she's starring in, it's a good movie. I mean, a good... Well, yeah, because if a movie is a movie, it, good movie. If it's a TV series, which this one is, it's going to be good. And I'm only on first episode because it's just... It's no core cool expats. Anyway, y'all, I'm always telling y'all about some TV shows and shit, right? <laughs> That's what I do. I watch, watch some good shit. And I like to spread the word. But anyway, I'm finished watching some of it and because I'm missing it. I'm here running my mouth with y'all. But I was just getting to show y'all my little, um, my jewel line. Y'all see, it got the little things on the side. These things right here. I don't even know what you call this thing. I guess it's just like a chin strap. But, um, and it's supposed to give you, like, those surgical results. <clears throat> but, um, as if you got your jaw line done. So, we're going to see. I'm going to try to stick to it and stuff. My face is dry as hell. Because I ain't putting nothing on it yet. Like I said, I just got out the shower. And um, I'm not going to put nothing on it until I'm ready to go out. So, I'll see y'all in a minute.
Not me walking outside on two feet. <laughs> well, that was dumb. But anyway, I'm going to the Dollar Tree, y'all, to get me some snacks. I ain't taking y'all in, but I'll be back. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, I know I was missing. Well, actually, I wasn't missing. I wasn't missing at all. It's just a new day. Okay. <laughs> But y'all, I'm excited. I got something to show you guys. And I hate singing and talking, so I don't know why I just did that. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, y'all, I got something exciting to show you guys. Remember the other day I was like, y'all, I got something a surprise for y'all. If you watched my last sit down chit chat video, you would have heard it. If not, go check it out, boo. Anyway, y'all, y'all, y'all. <laughs> Guess what's inside of here? <laughs> For those of you who didn't guess right, yeah. <laughs> Y'all. This is an unofficial unboxing of my new. Look, it was upside down. <laughs> my new camera. Thank <laughs> y'all. My new camera is here. Actually, it been here. But, y'all, <laughs> I'm so excited. I got my camera, y'all. Finally, my camera came last week sometime. Anyway, I had it for about a week now, or maybe a little over a week, but I didn't show you guys yet because I was waiting for the other accessories to come so I can just show them all at once, and they have arrived today, so now I can show you guys. Well, a couple of them arrived yesterday, but um, it's here. I'm so happy, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I did not do an official unboxing because I'm trying to tell you I was so excited when my camera came. I took that shit out the box. It been out the box for that for for since I had it. I don't rip the box up, threw it away. Like I ain't even I ain't even care about all of that. I'll be honest. So unfortunately, you guys are getting an unofficial unboxing of my camera. But I will go over everything that it came with. Um, and here it is, my Sony ZV One F. So cute, so cute, so cute. This is the exact camera that I've been wanting forever now. So. I got it for my birthday. <laughs> anyway, y'all, the camera came with, um, as you saw, a lens cover. So it came with that. It also came with this. It came with this whole case. Okay, the case came with a little cleaning kit, a little airbrush. This is the little cleaning, um kit it came with in a little baggie too it has a little um air i think this is like a duster i don't know like to squeeze i don't know i don't know but i'm assuming it's just like to you know get the dust out of the little areas that you can't clean it out otherwise with a normal cloth it came with some glass screen cleaner came with that came with a bunch of um wipes whole whole handful of wipes it came with and what else it came with um a cloth to clean to clean with just like a cloth kind of reminds you of like an eyeglass cloth the cloth you clean your glasses with but just bigger so it came with that um what else and this is also really know what this is and I should have looked but it came in and I don't know what this is y'all tell me what this is as you can see I didn't even really open it because I'm like what is that but it came in the cleaning kit thing so let's see oh I think this is like a duster okay yeah see it's like a duster or something like you just that's cute I like this that's cute that's real cute all right, so we came with that. And also, obviously, it came with the, you know, the, the paperwork 
the Sony paperwork that I did not look at. But <laughs> like I said, y'all, when I got this, I was so excited. I took everything out the box. Of course, it's like a little ex warranty, a limited warranty extension thing or something. But those of y'all who got the camera, y'all know, y'all know. But um, it also came with this little uh, extension plug came. And then I got with the, the cleaning kit. It, I mean, with the case kit, it came with an additional battery, which I love that because the camera came with its own battery, which I'll show you guys. Oh, wait. Where is it? Oh. Uh, this is also, it came, the, the kit came with a battery charger, and this is the original Sony battery that came for the actual camera. I just have it sitting here because it was charged, and I just left it in there. Um, on charge obviously it's not charging all this time but since it's been charged I unplug it see it's a little plug you can just plug this right into your wall battery charger that came with it and oh, great hold up y'all one thing about it I'm gonna knock some shit over okay so I thought that was so cute and it also came with a uh, 64 gigabyte, which it was. It, let me show y'all. What is that? Camera also came with the 64 gigabyte um, SD card. Now, I went out and bought a next one, which is 128 gigabytes, because obviously, excuse me, if I'm going, I'm just ate breakfast not too long ago, y'all. <laughs> but obviously, if I'm going to be vlogging, this 64 gigabyte ain't much of nothing. I think you probably only get maybe one hour and a half or something like that. That's what I'm told. I don't know because obviously I didn't use it yet. Also, when I say this came with it, it was supposed to come with it and it did not. It was supposed to be included and they forgot to put it in there or they just didn't. So anyway, I worked them a nice little email and let them know that y'all forgot my shit. <laughs> so they sent it to me separately and it just came Friday actually so but I had already gone out and gotten the um, 128 um, gigabyte one obviously but this is good because um, you could use this for, se for a separate you know use that as your extra or whatever but anyway you guys so that's all the things that came with it oh and it also came with the car charger too I'm so excited, but this is the little kit case it came with, carrying case, I keep calling it a kit case, but a carrying case it came with, with us extra accessories, like I showed you, the extra battery, the charging pack, the lighter for the, um, the charger for the car, um, the wipes and all that, so all of that was included with this, and I was very grateful for that, so, of course, I had to order some additional things, such as which I'm going to unbox those with you today. <laughs> Again, they're just now coming. There's only two other things that I want to get um, that uh, I need or I want for the camera. Two other additional accessories, and they're both tripods. I want the, um, Bluetooth, I'll give it the Bluetooth tripod, and I also want a regular tripod, hand, regular mini one that you could take. I want the shooting grip, which is the Bluetooth, and then I want the regular mini handheld one in white of course i got a ton of them but i don't have white so i have to get it in white which is actually on order that's coming next week so but the the the, the shooting grip one which is the bluetooth one where you can control you can record from the, the the handle you don't gotta touch the camera and also my camera i will be turning it on for you guys but it is a touch screen love that love that love that but anyway so this is what I got today. This is a case to cover. Let me move y'all closer because I feel like I'm reaching and stretching and just doing a little bit much. Hold up, y'all. Okay. So this is the case because we need a protector for the phone. Um, the phone. I'm so used to y'all. I'm filming on my phone, but I'm so used to um, filming using my phone i'm still talking about my phone but this is so cute you guys i just got this in the mail yesterday you can't really see let me try to turn this light down some more so you can see the colors it's kind of like a 
like a pink, a light baby pink here, and then it fades into a, like a light baby blue here. It's so cute. It's not coming off on camera like that because it's the lighting, but y'all kind of see. See that? It's so cute. Let's try it on. Turn my light back up. <laughs> Let's try it on. And this right here, you guys, this is removable. So it comes off. This came separate, but it was in the in the in the um camera kit. But as you can see, it comes on and off. You can put your light here too, which I'm gonna show you. So we'll take that off for right now. Let's put the case on, see how it looks, see what it's giving. Yeah, I was so excited. I'm still so excited about all this stuff. And yes, I've been vlogging a little bit on this camera just to test it out. Love the quality. Love it, love it, love it. It's very easy to um, maneuver. Very easy to maneuver. Very easy to learn and to navigate. So, I mean, even when it comes to changing the settings and stuff, it's very easy to do. Hold up, y'all. Because I drop a lot of stuff. And boy, oh boy, do I not want to drop this camera on this floor before the case even get on here. So, hold up. Let me let me try to fix it on here the right way before I do too much while I'm talking. And Ben, I slipped out my damn hand. Good now. Let's see. Let me cover the light a little. Let's see. Let's see. So cute. This light is, is taken away from it a lot. There we go. See, it's so cute. Look, y'all. Love it. All right, so, boom, we got that. Got the case. So, I also got in the mail yesterday the card reader. The SD card reader. So this is basically so I can just take my SD card out and um, put it in here and transfer the footage. Or um, yeah, transfer the footage onto my phone for now because I don't have a laptop either. I use my phone for everything, but my laptop is the next thing I'm gonna be getting or tablet. I haven't decided which one I really want to go with yet. Which one that makes more sense. But that's coming next. But anyway, this is the cute little SD card reader. And I got this from Amazon, y'all. This is Walnu. And it just looks like this. And this side, I guess you will plug into your laptop if you have one to do the transfer. And then on this side, you plug into your phone. But you can just, in my case, I'll be using my phone, so I'll be using this. And then you just slide your SD card into here. Whether you have a mini one, you can use that one. And if you have a regular full-size SD card, this is the slot you would put it into. And as you can see, it's just light and cute and very small and compact. Something you can carry with you in your little pocketbooks or whatever. And it got a little carrying strap for it. I'll put that on later. So that is what I got for this as well. And this came in the mail today. So we go on Amazon. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Okay. This is a little itty bitty mini um, card mount for the camera. Nice and cute. I think this was only like $6.99. And you guys, I'll leave the links to this stuff down below in the description box. See if you want to go click on and buy your own. See this, you just peel that sticker off, stick it right onto your dashboard, whichever part of it you want. This part is for the camera to, you know, you here you go. You take this little hole. Put it on the camera here and you twist it in like that. And then it sits on your dashboard like that. And obviously you can maneuver your camera whichever way you want. And as you can see, this is a front facing um, lens here. And then you, I can also turn it to the back and still record and see what I'm seeing up front. Let's turn the camera on so you guys can see. 
Yeah, I'm still getting used to which button is to turn it on and off with. <laughs> Do I have a battery in here yet? Let me see. Nope. Hold up, y'all. Let me put the battery in. Let's put the battery in and turn it on so y'all can see what I see. And that's another thing, you guys. The camera, when you first get the camera, you have to put the battery in for the camera to come on. I know I watched a lot of videos when I was researching which cameras to get, and mainly this one. I watched a lot of videos, and I watched a lot of unboxing videos for it. And the girls <laughs> would get the camera and be so excited like I was, and just pop it right out the box and call, call themselves turning it on and the camera would not turn on. And a couple of them took a minute to figure out <laughs> that the camera needs a battery, girl. You can't just, you know, do it like you can't just turn it on without the battery. So I'm showing you guys, I'm telling you guys up front that you do need the battery in the camera in order for it to turn on. Okay. Here's the on and off button. Let me flip the screen back around so you guys can see. Let me see the quality good. I can see here the defocus on this is amazing. Let me show you guys. Just testing a camera out in the natural lighting, mm. such as a sunlight. Wow, that's pretty good. This is when I first got it. I was testing it out. And again, this is touch screen, you guys, so you can. Start it, stop it, do all that just by touching the screen. I still got this little piece in my hand, y'all. I'm sorry, but this is another additional piece for, um, hold on, let me show you. I know I'm kind of all over the place with this. I turned the camera off because one thing about Sony's, the battery dies fast. So you can't just be leaving it on if you're not really using it. But anyway, this is just another uh, extra little knob case, I guess, if this one gets lost or broken in here. You got a little additional knob, which I love that for me. Let me see. This knob, you just loosen it here so you can move it around and how to, you know, how you want. So this is going to be for the car. And hopefully this adhesive adheres so that it, a perfect uh, stick but from the reviews everybody who had it loved it one thing about it baby I'm gonna watch some reviews to um, make before I purchase some shit <laughs> um, anyway so that's the car mount I got and lastly I got um what I've been most excited and most well not most excited but outside of the camera I've been very excited to receive yeah oh shit Damn it. I'm watching Sisters last week's, last Wednesday's episode because I missed it. But I had it on pause and I didn't want it to go off the screen. I got to start it all over again. So satisfying. Last package I got for this for today is the Yuli and Yay! Yeah. Also, Amazon. This is the light. Oh, I'm so excited. It just comes with a little booklet, like everything else does. A little booklet. I don't know what this little red thing is for, but I guess it's just a little um, qualified certificate, it says. Got the little U um, USB cord. Again, I showed y'all that. And here's the light, you guys. I'm pretty sure you've seen this all over the place because almost every content creator, YouTuber, vlogger, whatever, or just in general, because shit, I have one of these, <laughs> but it wasn't white. I had it from my camp, uh, got it from like five below a while ago. It broke now, but anyway, this is the back. So it has a few functions on it. Can y'all see? There we go. Few functions. Just turn it on. 
it's bright as hell. Let me see. Take it up some. Ooh. Ooh, this is bright, honey. Let's put it on the camera. Mm -hmm. Slide it in. Where that little... Oh, let me turn it off. I'm blinding, y'all. <laughs> you slide it in where the little um, wind muff was sitting at. You, I personally feel like I would only use the wind muff if I really need it outside or whatever the case, because that's what it is. It's a wind muff. But when you're recording inside places, you don't really need this. So, but I am going to get, um, I am going to get, uh, I guess these are called hot shoes. The things that you slide this into right here on the camera, I guess they're called hot shoes. They do have dual ones. So that sits in here so that you can put your wind muff on it and then your light right next to it. So I'm going to get that. But in the meantime, and in between time. When I'm outside, I mean, when I'm inside recording with this, we'll be using this light without the wind muff. The recorded, um, the audio is the same, still great quality with or without the wind muff. However, again, if you're outside on a really windy day, obviously this would help, um, uh, decrease the wind sound while you're out there, you know, but either way, you don't have to have this on your camera is what I'm trying to say. So... Until my white one comes, we're going to be using this one. This one I use for my phone outside, especially because, again, I like the bendable. How you call these ones? I, I call it bendable, but I know it's an actual name for it. So this just comes off because, again, you use this piece for your phone. And then, like this, you just use for your camera. So let's put this on. That way, like I told y'all before, if I'm in the stores or whatever, like sometimes I am and I record, I just couldn't, if I have a cart, then just put this camera, bend it right on the cart. All right, let's see. Turn it on. Let me turn it back down. Let's see, just the other lightings. I don't know. Is this the only... I thought it changes like it gives different, unless I'm bugging, but I thought it gives like different um, tones. Like what's this? I don't know. Well, it gets brighter as you can see. Let's test it out with the camera on. No, I thought y'all was going to be able to see it the way I see it, but y'all can't. <laughs> Not at y'all. But as you can see, it gets super light. It's so nice. Oh, this is so nice. So, so, so nice. Love it. Uh, I love this, y'all. Y'all can see just dead from the, from the glare of it that how nice this lighting is. Look at that. This is so nice. And it's even nicer on the camera. So, yeah, y'all. I got my camera. I got my light. I, f I am officially a YouTuber. <laughs> Let me turn this out because I keep blinding you guys. I'm going to play around with this some more because I thought this one gives... Like, you know, the warm, the cool, the uh, uh But even if it doesn't, that's okay. It's okay. I'm going to turn it off for now. But yeah, y'all, this is it. This is my camera, my Sony ZV-1F with my little case. I'm so happy, you guys. Yeah, I have no idea. So, I'm set for right now. Like I said, only thing I'm waiting on now is just the, the little mini tripod in white. And then I'll get the other one shooting grip. So, yeah.
that's the surprise, y'all. That's what I wanted to show you guys. So I'm so happy as I keep saying a million times in this video. <laughs> but I am, y'all. I wanted that camera for so long. But, well, that's it for the unboxing of the accessories and official unboxing of the camera. So... Yeah, I'm going to sit here and play around with the light a little bit more because I really, really believe that it has, I really want to believe it has warm tone and all that. So I actually am going to look at this little booklet it came with and see what's what. Because if it doesn't have the warm tone one, more than likely, because I love that, that, um, I love that lighting, the warm over cool. Like I like cool too, but I like the warm better, like, or that blended, like something the, in between cool and warm. I like that. So I'm going to see what this all means, and then, yeah, I'll be back, y'all.